<laughs> All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Adon. My up? boy Christopher the Conch here, guys? and we are Break Room Blitz, baby. What up? Blitz. All right, so we just came back from seeing Split, guys. Man, Ooh. this was a, this is a, a doozy here. So we got James McAvoy, Yo, Professor, Professor X. Professor X. Who better else? Hey, Professor, why are you kidnapping kids? Uh, we got Anaya Taylor Joy. We got Betty Buckley. We got Brad William Henke, which, if you guys don't know, he's the guy from Orange is the New Black. He's one of the guards. That's a, a dick. Um, <laughs> Jessica Sula, which to me, she was fine, boy. Man, she was very pretty. I was like, golly. <laughs> All three of them are really pretty. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, know. they were. Hey, and we have Haley Lou Richardson. So, man, this is a, a, a doozy here. You know what I really appreciate with, I wouldn't say the, the last half of 2016 and the start of 17? Yes. Is the originality that we're getting in some of these movies. Oh, definitely. I love it. It's yeah. not something that uh, All for it. they've been doing for a long time. It's just been like... Uh, Reboots yeah. and remakes of the same thing that we've seen. I feel like they, they plaid that. They're like, let's just come out with a bunch of reboots. So when we come out with movies in the following years, it seems original. Like, I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, that's not... <laughs> yeah. I think someone's convincing definitely. those uh, execs, like, yo, we got to do something different. Yeah. 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 doing the same thing. Cookie yeah. cutter movies. M. Night, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why they asked him. Who is he... You said bribing someone? He's bribing someone or blackmailing? Blackmailing? <laughs> like, I don't see how people keep funding him for movies. Yeah. Because I'm like, it's kind of like a, a, a crapshoot. You just never know what's going to happen. Right. Yeah, he, I definitely say he strives for the stars in some of his movies, especially when it comes to plot twists. But Does movies he? like Avatar are not his yeah. forte. Like he, he, he should stay away from He's very good with horror. Like He, he, he could do the suspense thriller stuff, but... When it comes to fantasy, you gotta kind of stray away. He's got his own way of doing it, which he displayed in this movie, by the way. So let's just jump into it. So, so now, if you guys don't know what Split is, a man kidnaps three little girls, but is a different kind of crazy. He has twenty-three different personalities, and they try to, oh, and the, and the girls try to manipulate those personalities while trying to escape. So he has twenty-three. Going on 24, if you right. even want to call that a personality. Yeah. Definitely. But, um, so let's just jump right into it. Was this the best M. Night Shyamalan movie you guys have ever seen? That's, it's up there, <laughs> that's a tough question. It's up there, because I, I literally, like, it's been a while since I've walked out of a movie and been like, oh my gosh, I'm still kind of stunned at what the, I just saw. Yeah. Like, I'm still like, I got to my car, we drove back over here, and I'm sitting there just being like, that, that seriously happened. Like, I'm still kind of stunned by it. So, yeah. so, for a movie to do that for me, it's been a while. It's been a good while. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for me, it isn't the best M. Night Shyamalan. I, I'm going to say no, but it's a close second. Yeah. Like, wow, it, it, close second. It's, it's battling for that first place, and that's only because, and I think we're going to get into it later, of how it ended, really. Um, you know, it's... It's a different take. I, I like what he's doing with his movies, you know? I would have to say that it was just because of the acting, not necessarily... The acting was great. That's what I'm, like, on the fence about. Not yeah. the direction, but the... I mean, I guess he could have brought it out of James McAvoy. His performance was just, like, off the chain. It really yeah. was. I mean, like, to see all these personalities that he did, like, I honestly thought this guy is going to get a nomination for an Oscar, if not an Oscar. Right. Yeah. It was mostly yeah. like we were waiting... The story was just us waiting on what he was going to bring out of the personality. Right. <laughs> That's what we were like, oh, what's he going to do next? Oh, my God, did you just say that? So I feel like that was that kind of carried it more than maybe the director. I, I'm, I don't want to give him too much credit yet. Because of all the bad stuff that he's produced. I, I, I want to give but, James McAvoy more credit than anything because yeah. he put on this awesome performance that, like, it was an M. Night Shyamalan, so I was actually analyzing the hell out of this movie, trying to figure out where it was going, um, just so I wasn't, like, upset at it. But James McAvoy's performance took me out of the mentality, and I was just enjoying him, what he was doing on screen. Yeah. Right. So if you had to do, uh, let's just do your blitz really quick. What did, you, what did you think about the movie as a whole? Yeah, I thought the movie was a really good, it was an intelligent movie, and each one of these actors were on their game. Like, 
they were awesome. We got new actors in here or actors yeah, that we, we haven't really do. seen on the big screen as mm -hmm. much. Yeah. Um, so I really appreciate that. I didn't think that the movie was going to be anything or go anywhere. It was just like pff, mind blown and I loved it. So, I mean, if I had to give it a rating, there was a couple things I would nitpick, but I'm going to give it a 9.5. 9. Wow, 9.5. Yeah. You want to go or you want me to get off? Go for it. Go for it. We'll go, 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 we'll go positive, negative, then positive again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I like the movie a lot, uh, so I'm a positive. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, what I, I got my intellectual value, like I'm always looking for. You know, there was something that I, you know, learned. You know, they had a doctor in there that was talking about this, you know, this new wave of, you know, science and her trying to break through, you know, and have other scientists accept her uh, philosophies or theories. You know, so I got that, you know, um, the suspense was off the chain because I had no idea how, you know, the little girls were going to get out or if they were. I was a little skeptical about it because I thought it was going to be like, you know, um, like those other cookie cutter movies where I can just predict the, the ending or the ending was just going to be, you know, so uh, shallow just to wrap everything up. Exactly. And it didn't do that. So I definitely appreciated that part of it. Um, the acting was great, man. Like I, I, everyone from uh, James McAvoy to the three girls, like they, like cause sometimes it's always like that one girl that's just like there, just scream and you know be frantic. Yeah, they weren't really like that. They all had they, they all had personalities and they had a brain, you know. So yeah. it was um, it was enjoying. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, if I had to rate it, I would probably rate it eight point five. For sure, I definitely recommend you guys go see it. It's going to be something yes. that you probably haven't seen before. Um, and it's just going to blow your mind, especially at the end. And we're going to get into that in our spoiler discussion later. So yeah. watch out for that. That'd be great. What, what did you think about it? Um, it was fantastic. You know, I got a lot of it, a lot out of it that I wanted. You got the comedy. You got the connection. You got the, you know, the, the definitely hero to villain complex. In bulk and then yeah, some, like just, et cetera. It's like the villain just got worse, worse, and worse, and worse, et cetera. And, uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, man, like I, I was going back and forth, like at nine, nine point five, like what? So I'm gonna give it a nine. Uh, I stuck with the nine. That's what I, I thought right out the door. But definitely a fantastic piece of work. And this is where I feel that. Um, the director is by far the strongest, is doing this type of genre film, yeah. and this is where he succeeded. And um, cinematography was very simple, but I think he did it on purpose to keep it safe, but at the same time, James McAvoy and the, the fellow, fellow cast members just made this movie, so... Let him shine. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and I, you know, you definitely rebuttal on this one, bud, so I'm really happy, because you let me down on the village! Truly. And, I mean, when you talk about cinematography, like, and it was simple, it was simple, but it also, like, made those actors shine. Like, oh, yeah. they brought the camera up yeah. to their face. Close and personal. And you can really see, like, them get teary-eyed or whatever it was, you know? And I was just yeah. like, <gasps> and then, like, just their acting was on point. Loved yeah, it. Definitely. It, it was, it was a, to me, it was a great watch. It was an easy watch. Easy. I wasn't like, what, what is happening? Why are they saying that? Like, they gave backstory to, you know, different characters that I felt was very, very needed. And it was just, it was subtle, but sweet. Like, yeah. it, it was just the right, Definitely. perfect combination. I just wanted to keep knowing what was going to happen next and next. I'm like, when are they going to, you know, get out or what's going to happen? And it was like questions in my mind and that thriller. Yeah, the flashbacks were perfect. And when they put the in the flashback, were, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not like, what, what? What happened? I'm not like, where are we? What is this? Like, yes. in some movies, you're like, what is this? Yeah, so are we, like, backtracking here, or is this a time paradox <laughs> for no reason? <laughs> right. <laughs> right, so I thought, it was, I thought it was great. It was an easy watch. It was great. So I'm glad that we all enjoyed it. All right, so we're all giving a thumbs up, guys. I think we're going to wrap this up, because we cannot wait to talk about the actual movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was mind-blowing. Go watch sure. it. Go watch, watch it. it. You need to watch If there's a movie you watch, watch this, this month, you know, it's going to be this one. Oh, yeah. All right. Let us know, guys. If you saw it, is this your favorite M. Night Shyamalan movie? Yeah. Let us know because I'm up there with it. It's up there. It's up there. We got 10 years of nothing. So <laughs> <laughs> right. anything you think of was going to be back when you were a kid. <laughs> so, all right, guys. We'll break room blitz. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. Adam. Mr. Couch. And we're out, baby. Peace. Peace. I don't know what that was. I did like a...
I did like a piece.